Welcome back everybody to another installment of Tech TLDR today. May finally be the day SpaceX launches the Starship SN15. I have some news and updates regarding that. We're also going to be talking about other Starship related news, SpaceX's Starlink program and NASA's Ingenuity at the end. So if you want to know that all, be sure to stick to the entire episode. Let's just dive right into this though. The Starship SN15. Supposedly we thought it was going to launch yesterday. However, it didn't. Today is looking very likely. Why is that? So multiple reasons. The first is right here. Austin Bernard tweeted this photo of the SN15 getting its flight termination system installed. Usually that is, is the very, very last thing to get installed on the Starships. And when they do this, it's usually the day that they actually launch the Starship itself. So that is the first promising thing regarding a Starship launch today. We can see this checklist here by Delta V on Twitter. The TFR is in place, road closures, FAA approval, the flight termination system is installed, successful static fires, marine hazard notice. Now SpaceX has not confirmed the launch yet, but there has been an evacuation notice. So we look at the closures today. There is a closure for today, Friday, April 30th, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And if we look on the FAA's website for obstacles and closures and constraints, we can see here, rocket launch Boca Chica Texas for today so a lot of good things point in that direction there's only one bad thing for today so everyday astronaut he had tweeted that he can he sleep he lives down there in this area and he had tweeted that he can barely sleep because of how bad the thunder and the lightning was the weather is not favorable today he did reply though saying that the weather had cleared up a bit and that hopefully it stays this way and if I look at weather reports I can't really show it on screen it just comes out terrible and i don't want to blind anybody but the weather has a bit of a clearance from around 1 p.m to 5 p.m is pretty much the favorable time so if we do see a launch it's most likely going to be within that time that's the texas area by the way 1 p.m to 5 p.m in the texas area not eastern time and also it's important to note too that there were people were talking about some heat shield tiles had flown off during the static fire and those were replaced as far as i am informed things that I've looked up, those uh, tiles had been replaced. If all you want to know is about the SN15 and Starship news, and you're going to leave the video, I understand. Be sure to like the video on your way out. It helps me out tremendously. If you want more SpaceX related news, let's dive into that. So Christian Davenport had tweeted that the FAA had made a statement. A lot of people are talking about this. The FAA authorized the next three Starship launches. So SN15 through 17 have been authorized as these Starships all have the same configurations within the hardware and software. I'm assuming software, but I know what the hardware. So because of the corrections from the SN11 to SN15, the updates that they made, the FAA had to approve those updates for launch. Those have been approved and those same updates are staying from the SN15 to 17. So those are all clear to go once SpaceX is ready to launch those as long as they have, of course, you know, the TFRs in place, things like that. But the FAA has also sent an actual representative as of yesterday to be at the SpaceX area for any Starship launches happening soon. So that is another great thing, uh, trajectory for today's hopeful launch. Now with the 18 through 20, you guys let me know below too, if you guys think like those are gonna have even more updates because they didn't authorize 18 to 20. So like, let me know down below if you guys think that the 18 to 20 is gonna have that much bigger of a difference between these two Starships. Wednesday evening, SpaceX successfully launched and landed the Falcon 9 and its booster. The booster successfully landed back on the drone ship and it was its seventh launch and landing. That isn't the record though for SpaceX because the record is nine launch and landings for a single booster, but it's getting up there. Seven launches and landings for this one single booster. In the Starlinks, they did successfully deploy. This has come from SpaceX themselves. Starlink continuing to grow, continuing to grow its infrastructure and its download speed. So I'm really excited to see another successful deployment and NASA's ingenuity. So it was actually supposed to take its fourth flight a few days ago and there was a problem. Apparently it wasn't in a flight mode. It never activated. It was just a slight software issue. NASA had worked to fix that and they're hoping to do its fourth flight today. A little uh, about it. around 10 30 pacific time 1 30 eastern standard time if you guys want i'm thinking about making like a little collage of the videos and the uh, photos it's sending back for a video if you guys want that let me know down below it's something i'm really considering and with that guys that is all i have for today's episode if you enjoyed be sure to like drop a comment subscribe to the channel for more and have a good one